know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In today's short lecture, I will explain about how to design uh, equipments which are placed on different floors. So if equipment is placed on different floors, when the building is subjected to earthquake ground motion, uh, each floor will vibrate with different acceleration values. So how to design the equipment which are placed at different, different floor levels? So what are the code provisions to safeguard against that will be discussed. So let me share my screen. Yeah, so clause number 6.1.6, .6, that is if equipment is placed on different floors. So what code says is <clears throat> equipment and other systems which are supported at various floor levels of a structure will be subjected to different motions at their support points. So let's take up one example. So there is a structure, this is a structure, which is a four story structure and uh, equipment is placed on uh, different floors. Say first floor, some equipment is there, second floor, something is there, third floor, something is there, fourth floor, something is there. And this building is subjected to ground motion whose a ground acceleration is 3.42 meters per second square. This is just an uh, example. Now, when this building is analyzed uh, using a time history analysis, and then each floor so acceleration, that is response acceleration is computed, obtained. So values are like this. So first floor response, second floor response, third floor response, and fourth floor acceleration response. So first floor acceleration response, peak acceleration at first floor is 1.73 meters per second square. And uh, peak acceleration at second floor is 3.36. And peak acceleration at third floor is 4.3. And peak acceleration at uh, fourth floor is 4.76. So you may observe the peak ground acceleration is 3.42 meters per second square, but the acceleration at different floor levels is quite different. So increasing in the increasing order. So it depends on how the mass is distributed vertically and in uh, uh, plan also. The, in this uh, case, it is lumped mass idealization was used. So plan and stiffness distribution. So that decides the, what will be the uh, acceleration time history at a different, different floor levels. Now this is the case. Now what code says is the equipment and other systems which are supported at various floor levels of a structure will be subjected to different motions at their support point. So that's what is being demonstrated here. So this so first floor one is subjected to this acceleration time history with PG, peak, sorry, peak acceleration of 1.73. Second floor is subjected to uh, another uh, response with 3.36 meter per second square. Third floor similarly, 4.3 meter per second square and fourth floor or the terrace, 4.76 meter per second square. Now, what code says is, in such cases, it may be necessary to obtain floor response spectra for design of equipment, equipment and its supports. So for each of these uh, response histories at different different floor levels, we need to obtain the uh, response spectrum using that acceleration. So first let us look at what is this flow response spectrum. So, as in the definition, the definition 3.9, what it says is, it is the spectrum, response spectrum for a chosen material damping value of the time history of the shaking generated at floor of a structure when the structure is subjected to a given earthquake ground motion at its base. So how to get this one? So we need to get the first, get the response of response time history at that floor and use that response time history to generate the response spectrum. So that will be floor response spectra, a sort of uh, like uh, different, different uh, oscillators ranging from different uh, uh, natural periods will be subjected to that floors uh, acceleration at the base and then uh, uh, the maximum uh, 
uh, acceleration or displacement or velocity is computed and the, uh, the spectrum is drawn. So something like this. So let's take, let's take the example of uh, first floor with P acceleration of 1.7 meter per second square. So this is a uh, rough, uh, uh, like a schematic diagram kind of thing. So in this, there are three levels of uh, damping, so 5%, 10%, and 15% damping for which this is the spectra. So depending on whatever the material damping is, we should use that curve. This spectrum should be used for design of all the equipment which are present in the uh, on the first floor. Similarly, we can get the response spectrum for second floor, third floor, fourth floor. So like that. So that is what is that is what code is suggesting. So the intention of the short lecture is to help students and uh, budding practicing engineers to understand IS code provisions in a better manner. So thank you.